Hello and welcome to Top 10 Features of Pathwave ADS 2021. In this video series, we are looking at all the great enhancements done in ADS 2021. In this video, we will look at a new concept called Compact Test Signal and Distortion EVM. Now, this feature was introduced originally in ADS 2020 release. However, in the new release, a lot of enhancements has done to the algorithm and new capability added. So let's look at that. The concept of using compact test signal or what we call a CTS in short is to use a time slice, a small time slice from the overall modulated waveform, which represents the similar frequency signature and a statistical distribution in terms of CCDF. A good guide to select the right time slice is simply using this formula n divided by the bandwidth, where n is your number of tones in the modulated waveform and the bandwidth. This gives you a very good estimate to start with, and later you can adjust it. Now, where is the location of this time slice? Designer don't need to worry. That's the job of ADS algorithm. It searches for the entire waveform and tries to find the best time slice, which is giving you the right CCDF information so that you get an accurate result. In terms of comparison with the traditional data flow simulation, such as engine inside system view, and when we compare it with our distortion EVM technique, this technique is very accurate. And here you can see the, the EVM over wide input power range tracks itself very, very nicely. And even at the highest input power level, the difference between two EVMs is only 0.3%. However, if you compare the simulation time, it will be order of magnitude faster than performing a full time domain uh, or modulated analysis using you know, the regular envelope technology. So let's see how easily we can do that inside ADS. And again, I will have more detailed tutorial on this topic where we will go through all the nitty gritties of this. Here we have a sample circuit level amplifier. So if you push in, we have a circuit level amplifier being set up and we have uh, set up an envelope simulation to perform modulated signal analysis. Now here, if I just hit the run button, this source basically is feeding the modulated signal, which is in this case 5G NR FR 100 megahertz wideband signal, QPSK constellation, and this waveform file was saved using system view. And once the analysis is finished, and now you can see it only took around 18 seconds to perform the complete modulation analysis. On the data display here, you have the power spectrum where we are using the regular equations as you always do to compute output power, power gain, and plotting the output spectrum. However, on the right hand side, you can see a function in data display distortion underscore EVM. And we are feeding the input node and the output node. And one is simply representing the fundamental. This equation returns three values. First is the EVM percentage. The second is this nonlinear um, you know, distortion part. And the third one is the linear, which you can see two segments here. One is the linear part of the spectrum and the red trace is the nonlinear part. And here is your EVM, which in this case is around 18%. Now this waveform file is being read by P1 tone, which is another interesting change or enhancement done in ADS 2021. Using this time file function or mod file function, if you go back to the ADS documentation and understand the P1, P1 tone source, and here you have this new feature called mod file. And you look at mod file, it has a very simple format. You provide the time information, provide the file name and the format in which your file is. And there are multiple ways uh, your file can be. So in the present example case, we are using TRI, which is having time and real and imaginary information. And if I show you the text file, it has information of modulation distortion or the modulated waveform till one millisecond, which corresponds to 245,000 number of samples. And the format used in this waveform is TRI. So first 
column is time. The second and third column is real and imaginary. Now, because simulation is working so fast, designers can perform the parameter sweep to do design exploration, such as vary bias, temperature, or input power. In my case, I set up a parameter sweep to sweep input power from minus 20 dBm to zero dBm. And here you can see the response. The x-axis is input power and the y-axis is percentage EVM. And we can see how EVM is getting worse with the increased input power when amplifier is going into compression. Another enhancement done in ADS 2021 is to have a new function here called distortion EVM versus time. So in this setup, I perform 40 microsecond of sweep. And in two microsecond slot, we can see how EVM is changing because all your modulated waveforms are time varying envelopes. So obviously the EVM performance will change with respect to time. And here we can see how EVM is getting distorted against the time segments. All right, and one final thing before we end this video, how to define uh, and where to define how much time segment we need, that's inside envelope controller. If you double click on it, you can simply enable the compact test signal, enter the time slide, and that's it. So it's so simple to use that every uh, you know active circuit designer designing power amplifiers or transmitter can go ahead and use it. Hope you like this uh, feature inside ADS 2021. And it will make your life easier, especially if you deal with various modulation standard of 5G, Wi-Fi, or radar, or any kind of modulation standard. Thanks for watching, and go ahead and give it a try, and leave the comment below this video. Thanks a lot.